Hi Cancers and welcome to your April 2022 general tarot forecast. This is Sky coming on to talk to you about your month ahead. I hope you're all doing really well. We have a very uh, life-changing and a crazy month of April coming up. If you guys have seen the April 2022 comprehensive astrology video, uh, you would uh, know that uh, the transits this month are off the charts and a lot of our lives are also off the charts. So that's kind of what I'm feeling for your energy as well. Something is off the charts. Something is out of the comfort zone. Something is um, really just completely setting you up to start over or to have some type of new beginning. I just feel like, you know, with the fool coming up for you and quite a few other signs this month, it's like um, all of this pressure, tension, and unsureness does not really say that much actually about what you've created or where you're at. It more so says a lot about the fact that you've changed or the fact that you've gone through some type of rebirth and you just don't have the same wants that you want to have. So today in your reading, Cancer, I want to really devote a space uh, talking about um, working with a chapter like that in our lives where we're kind of waking up and we're like, gosh, I don't want what I used to want. You know, um, what I now have might have been perfect for who I once was, but now I'm sensing and identifying some new wants and some new uh, paths, and I'm not sure if this um, current path or this previous sort of... Um, conception of who I wanted to be is uh, right anymore. And um, it's an uncomfortable place to be, sure. Uh, 2021, for a lot of people with those Saturn-Uranus squares, was uh, really the kickstart for this or the, uh, you know, kind of impetus to shift path or to shift into a different expression. And um, what we have now here in 2022, starting in April, as we are in the astrological new year, we have come past the equinox. We are now starting a new chapter, and by the end of April, that should be even more the case. You know, with an eclipse happening in April, with these T squares, with um, the Pisces and Taurus stelliums happening as well, which should be really good for you. Uh, we are probably having a change of chapter now, and. Um, you know, intuitively for you, Cancer, I feel like it can be easy or it can be hard. You've got this Eight of Pentacles reversed, High Priestess reversed, the Fool, uh, Seven of Wands. This is coming up, these cards are coming up for a lot of signs this month. And I think it has to do with a sort of laborious, unintuitive process that is old or outworn, uh, needing to be renovated or needing to be planned to be renovated. There's something unintuitive, okay? There's something that's more difficult than it has to be with the High Priestess reversed and the Eight of Pentacles reversed. You might also be being defensive with yourself, Seven of Wands and uh, High Priestess reversed as well. Um, it's kind of like I'm not trusting my intuition or I'm not, or I'm choosing to override my intuition in some way. And I'm seeing that for a lot of people this month. Uh, so why is that happening you know, why do people find themselves in a place where they're like, yeah, I'm just going to override my intuition. I'm going to um, assume that my intuition is, you know, maybe off a little bit or that it doesn't have my best interest at heart. Uh, Two-mindedness, essentially. Um, that's going to climax in Gemini season this year. And by June, okay, and uh, moving into your season, Cancer season, there's going to be a need to remedy this two-minded approach or to remedy this unintuitive uh, kind of self-defense or unintuitive self-offense, I want to say. There's an offensive energy towards the self here that we really do need to uh, come out of. So I'm hoping, Cancers, that you've been able over the last two months of All Planets Direct to uh, release some of those difficult habits to... Um, know that somebody or something was not out for your best interest and to kind of be able to walk away. I actually feel in April that you are potentially finally getting out of a territory where you were dealing with like psychic attack or you were dealing with even like evil eye energy, okay? Um, that I feel you're out of that in April. And I think you've been out of it for a while, depending on what you have in your chart. But, you know, it's a really... Uh, apt time for psychic attack. I feel like people are so angry and people are so quick to be jealous or envious or covetous of small things that other people have 
Um, so if you have something big or if you have something incredible, it's really easy to get detraction right now. So I definitely recommend, and I mean, you're great at this, like a low profile, not bragging too much, not, you know, going too crazy with um, that type of thing, because um, I just kind of feel like you are, there's something about your experience that's like too good to be true in the eyes of other people. And while you might see it as a kind of unintuitive, laborious process, like other people really see it as like something special or something incredible. Uh, so this might even be a case, again, to be cliche, it's like one man's trash is another man's treasure. Uh, you might think that something that you have or something that you've uh, created is totally like not worth that much. But for another person, it might be everything to them. And I think that you could even be like giving yourself like a psychic attack or like psychically attacking yourself by devaluing something that you have or thinking that something that you have is like a threat or a problem to you when it's like what another person might be uh, dying for or wanting to have so badly. Uh, so there's a weird kind of, I almost want to call it, um, what do I want to call it? I want to call it a stressed, stress-based devaluation. It's like because of your stress or because of your um, overworking tendency during this time, you might devalue a lot of the other things in your life. So this is important. This is a really, really cool discovery that I'm, I'm uh, feeling uh, in the cancer energy right now is like uh, how sometimes if you like overwork or if you uh, commit yourself to like wage labor in an unreasonable way, uh, it's crazy how much we can lose sight of the other value sources in our lives when we overwork or when we devote too much energy to something that's working itself but might not really be as valuable as we think it is. And then we end up devaluing the stuff in our lives that might be way more valuable because we are focusing so much on this other thing or uh, and in essence giving it a value that it might not have so this is crazy. i'm getting chills as i'm talking about this i feel that there's a value crisis in the lives of most most people but most cancers and i feel that april of 2022 is really going to show you that like you might have been working so hard to um i don't know make a business profitable or to um, I don't know, get like a raise at your job. And like, while I don't want to devalue those things for yourself, those are great things and wonderful, especially if you enjoy it, uh, to work on. But I feel that pretty much every cancer person, fourth house person, um, has something in their lives that could give them a lot more, okay? And they're not really able or uh, having of the you know, excess energy reserves to give anything to that. And therefore they sap it of value because they're not focusing on it or they're not looking at it, but it inherently maybe has a lot more value. So um, take a look at aspects of your life or things in your life, cancer, that you have or that are still a part of you, but maybe have no focus or have no like real... Um, you know, it's kind of like a clutter in your life, but maybe it's more valuable than you think. Or uh, this can even be like intellectual property or ideas. Uh, if for some of you, it's like physical property. Maybe you have like a lot of land or something that you don't do anything with. Or maybe you have like a house or something that you've inherited that like sits empty while meanwhile you're like working in self-employment, trying to like make a like standard income for yourself. And it's like backbreaking when, in, when it's like you could rent out this house and do that so easily, you know, um, that's a hypothetical. Um, but this is the energy I feel for cancer. It's like they're trying so hard, breaking their backs to like create something from nothing while they've already got something that could give them what they're trying so hard to create very easily. So it's almost like, you know, eight of, again, eight of pentacles reverse, the high priestess reverse. It's like not really understanding what you have, not evaluating what you have properly, and perhaps even wanting to uh, prove to yourself that you can create something from nothing and maybe it's more about that than it is about the value itself or it is about the actual result it's more about like proving something to yourself so to me that's very indicative of like the last five-year cycle and i think that 2020 even was already trying to get us at like by the end of 2020 it was already kind of like okay you've proven it to yourself you've done it now take some value from like what is a little bit easier to get value from and uh, that's where I see you really having a breakthrough is like uh, maybe surveying what you have and understanding how it can um, give back to you in a more sensible, sensical way. And uh, ultimately, Cancers, this month 
is a um, breakthrough. It really is a breakthrough, I think, coming for you if you can get out of this Eight of Pentacles reversed. I see this archetype as a threat to everybody right now. Four of Pentacles reversed is interesting too. It's like how focused we are on working so hard for such a small amount of money or for such a small like just getting by situation. Again, this is like the desperation of like an inflated economy or the desperation that comes as a result of being in like a global economic crisis. Like people completely lose track of like what's actually valuable in their lives and they maybe sacrifice everything just for that like basic income or just for that. And it's not to look down on that. It's not to like say that that's bad because I mean, people have got to do what they've got to do. But I also feel that most people have more leverage than they understand or most people have actually more value or more skills or more intellectual property that they could actually get what it is they're so desperate for or what they feel as if uh, they need to debase themselves so much for uh, that way. So it's a great month to figure out what that is. And we, I, I recommend working less, okay? I recommend um, plenty of time, and this has been coming up ever since January of this year for you and other signs, as much time as you can to just, you know, postulate in your life like what is a value source that i'm not tapping like what is something that i already have like a skill that i already have or a, a, a asset that i already have that i am letting lie dormant there's something about the value of something dormant i'm gonna have to write that down uh the value of something dormant could be more than all of this labor you're putting yourself through this can be anything again it can be like yeah it can be physical stuff but for most people you know it's like a idea or it's a skill set or an ability that you have that's not really yielding you any returns so we want to maybe divest a little bit from these crazy overwhelming stuff that we're putting 103 percent of our effort into pull that back and replace it with a little bit of these other value to diversify what we are uh, yielding results from in life and that's going to, I think, uh, give you the best result uh, if you focus on these things and how you can uh, have an easier, more um, multifaceted approach to value this month. Let's talk about your week-to-week -week cancers. In the first week, you have the Seven of Wands rooted down by the Wheel of Fortune. So the first week is going to be about um, inviting a uh, better turn of events. So um, I think there might be a major tendency towards defending uh, a stagnant situation or trying to keep something unchanging or trying to push on in a similar fashion when this time really is demanding a change. You know, we've got all planets direct. We've got a uh, year of the tiger. We've got, um, you know, Aries and Taurus season that we're in now, but just having come from Aries season, it's difficult to block a change. That's kind of what that looks like to me, a blocked change in the first week. I think it's uh, really rewarding uh, during this time of April to understand what a better living situation would look like and uh, what a smoother and more doable um, state of being would give to you. So um, I definitely invite you, Cancer, to uh, brainstorm with that in the first week and uh, see what chain of events could really lead you to that point because I think the universe is really wanting to see us have an easier time of things, um, if not now, um, in the near future. Week number two, you have the Page of Pentacles rooted down by Four of Pentacles reversed. So on one hand, there's a need to um, maybe cut back a little bit or um, spend a bit less and know what is a more uh, contributive purchase for you. But at the same time, you don't need to go into hyper frugality. You know, Four of Pentacles reversed to me is that point where like frugality becomes greed or becomes inhibitory to our personal growth. So it's about finding a balance of spending uh, with time, money, and energy, and also starting to cultivate uh, new growth or new ways for your uh, status quo to express itself. Again, uh, the value of something dormant or the value of something new might be more giving to you now than these old regimented experiences. Week number three of April, Queen of Wands, rooted down by the Fool. I love that. That's beautiful energy right on the cusp of Aries and Taurus there. Um, I think that that is also the last full week of All Planets Direct, so I think you're going to maybe be putting yourself into a new beginning there. And uh, some of you might be even um, being prepared to implement some type of new plan or uh, start some type of new chapter. I'm seeing this across the board for all of the science. It's like we really are starting a new chapter here. And a lot of us are kind of like, but wait, I wanted to, 
you know, prolong where I was at, or I wanted to just keep it going sturdy and safely. And and some people can do that, but there's got to be some type of understanding, at least, that a very new wave is uh, about to crash in there. Uh, Queen of Wands is about embracing your expression, okay? Being popular for what you express, not having to hide yourself, not having to uh, keep yourself under your own thumb. And then the Fool is also about that. It's about confidently stepping out or off that, uh, you know, ledge, it seems, with the Fool. So we have to kind of dive in or we have to uh, jump into this new kind of proverbial... Um, starting point, okay? It should not feel that familiar, I feel, by the third week of April. And the fourth week of April is going to, uh, with Eight of Pentacles reversed, rooted down by the High Priestess reversed, both of those cards being so prevalent this month, I think that you're going to just be reminded like what is out of time or what is not performing as well anymore, what is taking way more work than it needs to exist. And how unintuitive is it, okay? Just this, this feeling, uh, it's indicative to me of the fallout of the Saturn-Uranus square from 2021. It's like, is this what we have now? Is this what we made for ourselves? Like a very laborious or menial series of unintuitive tasks. And we want to be able to rise above that. So let's talk more about rising above that in your extended reading, Cancers. I hope you enjoyed this reading here on YouTube. I think it's hopeful. I think that you have a lot of new beginnings. I think that as long as you can allow uh, some of these changes in, that you will uh, really uh, prosper more. But again, uh, understand where else your value is and how you can start to maybe cultivate new uh, growth. And um, don't be afraid to scrap any laborious actions that are not contributing to your uh, greater health in the future. So um, let's talk about that more in, on Patreon, Cancers. I'll get a central theme into supporting themes. And I'll see uh, what else is coming up and give you some more tips about, um, you know, moving on from this uh, overworking tendency uh, on Patreon, which is linked below and in the center of your screen now. Let's do that, Cancers. Much love. Bye.